So as you know, hydroxyurea is a drug that needs to be taken lifelong. And it's a drug that has uh, some side effects uh, that require monitoring. And um, there have been a lot of concerns surrounding adherence with hydroxyurea in the United States. And um, several years ago, a clinical trial here in the United States showed that if you observe the patient taking the drug with an approach similar to the approach used uh, to monitor adherence to uh, TB drugs and HIV drugs, um, but doing it remotely, so without having a healthcare provider directly and physically monitoring the intake of the drug uh, um, in person, but rather doing it remotely, uh, in the United States, it was shown that this approach improved adherence dramatically. And so we wanted to explore the feasibility of doing this in Sub-Saharan Africa. And this, um, it's important to remember that this was done several years before uh, the clinical trials uh, showed the effectiveness of hydroxyurea in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. And it was done when the drug was still not available, widely available, at least uh, in, in this area. And so we wanted to see whether Patients who uh, were monitored um, while taking the drug via a selfie video taken with their cell phone and sent to the healthcare providers would have better adherence than those just taking the drugs uh, with routine standard of care. And what we found is that adherence was very high in both groups. And so we couldn't see a difference between the the active monitoring, uh, the the mobile directly observed therapy group and the standard of care group. But of course, this was just a pilot intervention. It was uh, short lived. And uh, we do anticipate that once um, the drug will be taken for a long period of time, there will be uh, issues surrounding adherence in in the African continent as well, because there are problems with access uh, and, uh, and other issues surrounding the drug. So we do think that this is a valuable approach, uh, particularly because the penetration of um, mobile uh, cellular technology is now widespread. And so everybody, almost at least many people, uh, m most people have a smartphone. And so uh, we think that this will be a valuable approach to monitor adherence long term with uh, disease modifying drugs and sickle cell disease. And this was um, a done study, a study done in Tanzania with um, uh, with um, uh, Pittsburgh and uh, and Tanzanian leadership, and another example of a great collaboration between institutions uh, across the world in sickle cell disease.